one of the big updates to InDesign CC 2017 is the way that they handle footnotes inside of the application. In previous versions of the app, you were unable to make footnotes span across multiple columns of text. Well, now that roadblock has been removed, making it very easy for you to do so. Let me show you how it works. So here I have some text inside of this document and what I want to do is I want to turn it first into a double column layout. So let's go up to the object menu and choose text frame options. Inside of the text frame options dialog box, you'll notice right here I can change the number of columns. Let's just change that to 2. And when I do that, because I have preview turn on, you can automatically see down at the bottom that the footnote that's inside of this paragraph is automatically shifted to one side and unable to span the full width of both columns. This is the traditional behavior of InDesign and something that frustrates many users. In this latest update, I have the ability to override this in two ways. Let me hit OK here. The first way is by going up to the type menu, and inside of the type menu going down to document footnote options. Inside of the document footnote options dialog box, you have two tabs at the top, the first of which is called numbering and formatting, the second of which is called layout. Go ahead and click on the layout tab. Once you have the layout tab open, go ahead and click preview in the bottom left hand corner. That's going to give you an automatically preview of what's going on. And then at the top, you have this, span footnotes across columns. When I click that, it automatically allows that footnote to span across both columns of text. You can then set the minimum space before the first footnote and also the space between each subsequent footnote by entering in values here and here. I can turn this off, and it just goes back to normal, and I can hit OK. Another way of doing this would be doing it directly from the object menu underneath text frame options where we were before. This is, basically, the one-stop shop method for doing this. So here you could come in, adjust the number of columns, and then at the same time go over to footnotes. You have to do a couple more clicks here enabling an override and then allowing it to span across multiple columns, but you get the same amount of customization in here as you do inside of the document footnote options dialog box. So in any case, no matter which way you choose to create your footnotes or how you choose to format them, now you know both ways to easily make sure that those footnotes can span as many columns as you need them to.